All right, continuing now with our in-depth coverage of the news today that O.J. Simpson has died. We are joining us now is John Q. Kelly. He was the lead attorney for Nicole Brown Simpson's family in their successful civil trial against O.J. Simpson. Uh, John, great to see you again. Just first of all, got to get your reaction to this news today. Uh, you know, it's part of life cycle. It's uh, it was a big part of a, a media circus that went on for years. Uh, drama that played out across the world and. Uh, now the chapter is closed. Yeah, it's closed with a lot of, I think, still unanswered questions. Yeah. I was very, well, you don't <laughs> think so. I don't think so. No, I don't think so at all, but. So, I, I, first of all, have you spoken to Nicole Brown Simpson's family today? No, it's not no. something I'd call them about right. or they'd call me about. So I was in no, touch with uh, a member of the Goldman family and they said they're just not ready quite yet. I mean, yeah. this is a, you know, I think there's a lot of closure that maybe those families still would love to have in some way, perhaps, that we'll never get. We just heard from his ghostwriter that up until the day he died, O.J. Simpson was expressing no remorse, no regret at all. I think he honestly believes that he didn't commit this crime, that he convinced himself of that. And it's just, uh, he's that uh, psychopathic that he can just sort of put something like that out of his head and absolve himself of any guilt. You were able to succeed in your civil trial where yeah. the criminal trial failed. The burden of proof is lower in the civil trial, but why did you win? How did you win when the criminal trial failed? Uh, a couple things. Uh, one, there was a gag order on everybody about the case. There were no cameras in the courtroom. So you learned some no... lessons after the circus of the first trial. Oh, sure. And the, the judge was uh, much more, you know, matter of fact and keeping things on course. And uh, we streamlined the case, had more evidence, came up with uh, Photos of Simpson in the Bruno Molly shoes, which was probably the last and best nail in the coffin, so to speak, in the civil case. The Bruno and, uh, Molly shoes? Yeah. Why do you think that was so powerful? Well, just because, you know, the big question was, you know, if there were these size 12 blood tracks from these shoes left at the murder scene and Simpson didn't have these shoes, then whose shoes were they? Who committed these crime type thing? You, the court ordered that uh, Simpson pay the families of Nicole and Ron Goldman $33.5 million. Right. How much of that money did those families get? Uh, none. None? None. Not a dollar? Not a dollar. But first of all, the, this was Nicole's estate was the kids. It wasn't about the Brown family. They were never going to receive a cent. But the only money that was ever seen was uh, we see some of Simpson's personal property from Rockingham and auction that off for a million and a half bucks or something. And that didn't even cover lit litigation expenses. But, you know, his, his Hertz money was all in a, a pension fund. His NBC money was all in a pension fund. His NFL players money was all in a pension fund. It was all judgment proof. So he was very well insulated from the, the monetary punishment that he should have incurred. We've all seen the images of O.J. in the criminal trial looking pretty confident with his dream team of lawyers, quote unquote. Yeah. How was he in the civil trial? Uh, he was pretty confident as it started out. And then uh, I think he knew the handwriting was on the wall as the evidence mounted. Uh, you know, the distractions were taken out of it. Some of his friends like Hale Collins came in and testified against him. We got photos of him in the Bruno Mollet shoes. And, uh, you know, at the end, I think he knew it was, it was not going to bode well for him in the end. Do you think that these two families that have, I mean, the, this loss never goes away. I interviewed Kim Goldman just a few years ago and that, you know, she still welled up. She still began to weep at the murder of her brother and the, and the fury of her father in trying to get justice for his son and the heartbreak of Nicole's family and her children who lost their mother and sister and daughter. Do you think his death announced today will bring them any kind of closure or peace? No, it probably opens own old wounds, if anything. Them up again. Yeah, and you know, the, the families, uh, you gotta remember the Browns too were in that position where they were caring for the children, they were, right. you know, OJ's they children to too, them. and they mm -hmm. they raised them, they protected them, and kept them isolated from the, the noise of the outside world during this whole thing. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.